Welcome to the Spiritual AF Life Podcast, a magical place where your host, Heather Danielle, psychic medium, will bring the mystical woo-woo world down to earth in practical ways. Tune in every Monday for your weekly reading and on Wednesdays to hear fascinating conversations with spiritual experts, uplifting stories, and deep dives into the metaphysical world, all to help you tap into the invisible guidance that's all around you. It's time to start living a spiritual AF life. Get cozy. The conversation is starting now. Hey, so apparently joining me for coffee and cards was not in the cards for this podcast episode. So I apologize for cutting you off and the audio being sucky and everything. But I am happy that we are here now together so that I can give you this week's reading. And in case you don't know, just felt really guided to use the magic of the unicorns, the deck, because guess what? It was National Unicorn Day this weekend. And it is one of my favorite decks ever. Okay, you know what? I am not going to make you wait any longer. We're going to go right into this week's reading so that hopefully it can help you out just a little bit. And if you like these readings and things like that, and you like learning about your intuition, how to make it stronger, then I really invite you to join me on Wednesday, just tuning into a Facebook live training that I am doing. And it is going to be all about tapping into your inner wisdom so that you can save yourself some time, money, and energy going to go over some really cool stories that have really worked for me and then just give you basically the breakdown because it will just make your life so much easier and better. So I hope you join me for that. I will put the link in the show notes, but it's going to be on YouTube, Instagram, and also on my Facebook page and group, basically the same places that I usually post um, for coffee and cards. All right. So let's get into Monday. Monday, the card is it's okay to be different. And I love that this card came up because what it is telling you right now is that it is giving you permission to not care what other people think, to not care that you are doing something different, that you are basically dancing to the beat of your own drum. It is letting you know that it's okay, akuna matata. Other people might not understand you and that's okay. Look at how many successful people that there have been in this world who didn't listen to other people, who were different. You know, a couple of things that are coming up into my mind is like Tyre Banks, you know, and how she was this model, and, but she was different back then and they didn't like the way that she looked and they told her that she would never go anywhere. Then she ended up being freaking Tyra freaking Banks. Look at how many times that Kevin Hart has been told no. I think he's been told like 2,000, 3,000 times no. And then even people telling him that he had no right to be a comedian and he should stop. <laughs> like it's insane. So if you have an idea, keep on going for it. If you have this crazy idea that you want to like run away, move somewhere, do something crazy, quit your job, start a new business, whatever it is, start taking a little bit of steps to do it. And knowing that, guess what? A lot of people have done it and it has really worked out. And honestly, trusting that when you have ideas that come to you, they're coming to you for a reason. But it might not be something that that's big that you are dealing with. It might be something that's a little bit smaller. And what spirit is, spirit is saying, hey, it is okay. And basically, that is like the biggest theme for Monday is the whole Kuna Matata vibe. All right. I'm not sure if I beat a dead horse with that one or not, but I'm going to move on to Tuesday's card, which is share. Oh, my gosh share. Why do you think this is coming up for you? Is there emotions? Are there feelings that you need to share with someone else? Is there communication in your life that needs to become a little more clearer? Are you assuming that other people might know how you feel? And then also for many of us too, do you have gifts that you're exploring? Are you meant to share them? Are you meant to share them in a whole new level? When share came up, what was the first thing? That really came up to your mind because that's going to give you an insight on what spirit wants you to do right now. Perhaps it's sharing information with somebody. Maybe you've been holding back and now is the time not to hold back, especially on Tuesday. Okay, so we just really, really have to trust that we are being guided to open up that throat chakra and to really make it known whatever it is that you feel that you need to share with one person or a group of people. 
All right, I'm gonna move on to Wednesdays. Wednesday's card is simplicity. Now, when this card came up, there was a big, huge vibration around it, letting a lot of us know that we need to clean up our house. Like we need to clean out the closets. We need to you know, give things away to donation. We need to really think about some of the items that we have in our house and whether or not they truly make us happy or if we're holding on to them. You know, for weird reasons, for sentimental reasons, there's okay, I don't know, to me, it's like it's okay to hold on to some of that stuff. But that's not where the memory resides. The memory resides really in your heart and in pictures and those kinds of things. But anyways, the reason why spirit really wants us to do this is so that we can get rid of some of that static energy that no longer serves us so that we can make way for new energy that's coming into our lives. So it's just kind of this thing. And if you follow feng shui too, it, they really go into more details with it. But basically we need to allow ourselves to let go of things so that we can really get that change that we have been wanting in our lives. Because when we start moving things, we're actually moving the energy. And so if you have been waiting on something to happen, or if you have been stagnant and you really want change, you really want movement, maybe you're tired of living the same day in and out or something along those lines, then what you need to do is try to make as many changes as possible. So then you are definitely taking every area of your life. You're making these changes so that you're telling spirit, hey, I am freaking ready. But one of the most profound ways to do that is going to be getting rid of stuff. Okay, now we are moving on to Thursday's card, which is hello and goodbye. So when this card is really talking about past loved ones are really with us, especially this week going into Thursday, definitely watching out for signs. And then I really want you to think about people maybe that you haven't heard from or haven't heard from in a while or that you often forget about. I think that you've heard me talk about, you know, my mom passing and my aunt's passing and everybody like that passing, but you haven't heard much of my friend Dave. Like I love Dave. Dave was my roommate. And he passed from cancer, but you don't hear me talking about him much. Or Darlene, you know, she was like a mother to me. I freaking love her so much. You don't hear me talking about her that much at all. So many of us have other past loved ones that maybe take the back seat because we have other people that have passed. And I just want you to keep an open mind as you go into Thursday with signs from all of them. And I need you to trust those signs. And not to look so much into them and trying to logically explain them. The truth is, is that almost like all of the freaking signs that you get, just about maybe 90% or so of them, they're going to be able to be logically, what is it called, debunked. But stop doing that because just because it can be logically explained does not mean that it also wasn't a sign from them because it was. I hope that is making sense to you. But like, I have a cool example. It's not really a cool example, but there's guess, two examples I'll give you. So one of them is a card. There was a card on my countertop and this was like several months ago. And I was like, wow, okay, where, how did this card get here? And I opened up the card and it said, Darlene, you know, from Darlene. And I immediately went to, you know, the woman who was like a mother to me who passed. And I'm like, oh my God. I don't even remember her giving me a card like this. This is amazing, Darlene. Oh, my God. And I remember, like, freaking out. Like, oh, my God, how in the world did this card end up here? It must be a sign from Darlene. Well, come to find out it wasn't from that Darlene. It was from one of my students, Darlene, who actually sent me this card, like, the week prior. And I had totally forgotten about it, even though I have worked with the other Darlene for many, many times. Like, I've seen her all the time. Like, she's, like, I, I email her, and, you know, we are really close with her mentorship. And... Guess what, though? I went ahead and I didn't even think of her. I thought of my other mom. And that's the reason why is because she was either standing next to me. She imprinted her energy onto it. That was my first thought. And even though it could be logically explained away as in, you know, nope, this, dar this is a different Darlene. It doesn't take away that that was probably also a sign from my Darlene. And now here's another one that just happened today is this woman messages me and she has a video and her lights 
are flickering on demand. So when she is talking to her past loved one and saying their name and saying, hey, if that is you, can you make the lights flicker? And the light freaking flickers. Like, it's freaking amazing on this video. And then she was like, can you make it happen again? And then like right on demand, the freaking lights do it again. Well, then she messages me and she's like, well, this morning the lights were flickering a little bit too. And I didn't ask them if it was them. And she's like, I wonder if I have an electrical issue. And I'm like, yeah, you might have an electrical issue. Totally, 100%. But the thing is, because that electrical issue is compromised, it can actually make it easier for the spirits to, what is it called, manipulate that energy. So sometimes we were, we think about, oh, if the, the thing on the shelf fell, was it really, really close to the edge? Yeah, maybe it was really freaking close to the edge and it gave them the opportunity to knock it off. Have you ever seen the show Ghosts? I love the British version that is on HBO Max, but there's another version of it that is on Amazon Prime. It's an Americanized version of it. And it's kind of like a sitcom. It's very funny. It's very uplifting. So it's not like scary. It's like literally probably something you could watch with the kids. But anyways, in there, there is a ghost and he portrays a perfect example of what it's like for ghosts or our past loved ones, right? Who are trying to move objects. We live on a very much more denser plane than they do. They're way more high vibrating. So then they have to try really hard to bring their vibration down in order to move things. And oh my gosh, can you imagine how much energy it takes to knock something off a shelf? Like if something was closer to the edge, it'd be way easier. And so if you understand that concept of that man inside of the sitcom, you know, ghost, you'll be able to see like, oh yeah, when things are closer to the edge, it's probably way more easier for him. I just wanted you to keep that in mind, but definitely on Thursday, there is that hello and goodbye. I feel like it's very much for our past loved ones, but definitely keep in mind that it could be friends and also other people in your life that, you know, you might get a blast from the past or something along those lines, but we're going to go into Friday's card. Friday is relax. Everything will be okay. It's just letting you know that whatever happens this week, it's going to be all right. All the people who are affected, anything that happened, you are okay and everything is going to be all right. Yeah, I'm really hearing that song, like, relax, don't do it, you know? <laughs> so it's just really letting you know that you have to trust the process. You have to trust the process of your life. Just keep on thinking to yourself that if things were meant to be different, they would be different. All right? Every single one of us has these memories of the, I wish I would have, I could have, what if I would have done this? What if I would have done that? But guess what? We cannot be what ifing our lives forever. We can't do that. And me specifically, I went ahead and I spent the night with my mom every night in the hospital. And the one night that I didn't go, guess what? She passed. But I don't even feel that bad or guilty about it. Maybe once in a while when I'm feeling down on myself, I do. But other than that, I don't because guess what? That's what she wanted. If it was meant to be different than it would have. And I'm not saying that's what she wanted in like the physical sense. Like my mother probably would not have wanted that. But I'm saying that might have been what her soul wanted or her spirit guides or the divine. What the people say about when God's will be done, like that is part is freaking true. We are only humans. We can only help out ourselves so much. Sometimes we're told that we are these incredible beings and we are. We are beautiful, limitless, oh my gosh, abundant, crazy freaking beings. But we are in this vessel on this really dense, harsh world that we're living in. You got to give yourself a little bit of slack. Okay. And you have to ask for help. Okay, and just keep on trusting that you only one person in this crazy freaking life. There's only so much that you can do. Let yourself off the hook and then just keep on trusting that if things were supposed to turn out differently, they would have. Okay, well, I hope that you enjoyed this little reading and I hope that I see you on Wednesday because we are having a very special guest on this episode. So you can have to tune in to find out who and then I will also see you on Wednesday. Wednesday live as well for that tap into your inner wisdom event. I will see you then. Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual AF Life podcast. You'll find all the links to resources and more in the show notes. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the incredible episodes that are coming up.